Hello everyone, happy Friday and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm on my way to have lunch with my kids at school. I am bringing them Happy Dragon Chinese food and I have these really cool, I hope you can see them on camera, T-Rex chopsticks that are that we got from Amazon. Um, they're training chopsticks so they're really easy to use. They have little finger grips and they are so adorable. So I'm wearing my Barbie t-shirt. If you saw the movie and liked it, let me know in the comments. If you hated it, let me know in the comments. And if you refuse to see it, um, I want to hear that as well. I know that some people vowed they will never see the Barbie movie. Um, I know it's been so controversial. So I want to hear your thoughts on it, if you saw it or not, or are never going to see it. Um, I've seen it twice. I was so nervous the first time because of the things that I'd heard that I was just so worried about what was going to be in it and I was just on guard the whole time and like really uncomfortable and I ended up loving it but um not until I went my second time the first time I was like it was okay like I don't know I was still processing everything um so I think my thoughts after my first time seeing it were kind of like I don't actually know how I feel about that movie but I went a second time with someone that hadn't seen it yet and because I knew what was in it and what wasn't in it and like it's just easier when you know um the second time I was able to relax, I laughed a lot. There are some really, really funny things in the movie. There are some cute songs. Ryan Gosling is just a gem. Anyway, Margot Robbie, love you too, but I have to be honest, Ryan Gosling is my favorite character. So, um, I mean, that would be Ken. But anyway, so wearing my Barbie shirt that I wore from that movie, just got a hair trim. I'm feeling so good, you guys. A hair trim. I know the lighting is terrible and you can't even see my ends, but um, it feels so much better. I am a very busy single mom and my hair is easily the bottom of the list usually so I've gone way too long without a trim the last time I trimmed it wasn't even professional I think I looked up a video on YouTube and trimmed it myself in fact that might have been the last two haircuts um, if you can do that for your hair I'm super impressed do it that's awesome um, I do not feel super confident that I do a good job when I trim my hair. It's like, it'll, it's better than nothing. And I will do it if I absolutely have to, but it was just really nice to get my hair trimmed. And it was the cutest girl. She's a member of my church, served a mission, told me her whole story of how she did hair school in high school. I didn't know you could do that. You can do hair school in high school and like graduate with a diploma and like a hair license. Like that is so cool. Like I wish I was that cool in high school, but anyway, graduated hair school, went on a mission, came back, she's getting married. Like just the cutest, cutest girl. She did a great job. So. Um, thanks, Alaya. And yeah, I guess I'm almost to my kids' school, so I'm just gonna be done with that. And uh, hopefully, I'll come back and add some more later today. Boring, done. Three, two, one. Done with lunch. It was amazing. My kids were so cute and they loved their Chinese food and they loved using their Jurassic Park, what, T-Rex chopsticks. Anyways, it was fun. Um, <clears throat> I left the school with my phone at 1% and turned on my Uber Eats app and got a delivery right away. So I took it and I'm here at Sephora to pick up an order and go deliver that to Lehigh. And then my kids get out of school early. So I am gonna be rushing. I hardly have any time at all, but what a blessing that when I turned on my app and my phone was almost dead that I got a delivery and I was able to plug in my phone before it died. So. Anyway, cool things working out. So I will um, do that as quickly as possible and hopefully have enough time to do this delivery and get back before my kids get out of school. If not, I'll be cutting it really close. It'll be okay. Okay, I just finished my delivery. That went really well. Um, I did not realize it was way up here in Lehigh, um, pretty close to I-15, but like a few minutes away. So I am really going to be rushing to get back and get my kids, but I will hurry and do my best. I might be a tiny bit late, but anyway, um, so I love Sephora. I actually didn't really care for it a whole lot, but I've been doing a lot of deliveries there. It's a great place to get makeup and stuff. I know they have like really, really good prices on some of their products. But I was talking to them about some of the treatments that they do and thinking about getting their lip perk treatment. Um, they were kind of explaining that to me. I love the idea that it's non-invasive. Like I'm not, I am not your plastic surgery 
filler kind of person at all, but I would love a solution for my lips because I just went to an event, an amazing masquerade on Saturday. It was so much fun. I got all dressed up and did the whole like red lip thing. And at the end of the night, it was like feathering and like going up these little vertical lines that we girls get. Well, probably guys get them too. Do you guys get them? I don't even know. But anyway, the, the red was like bleeding up through those like lines and it looked terrible. And I ran into the ladies room and like washed it all off and just put on gloss and was like, we're just gonna skip the whole red lip. Even though I had this gorgeous red dress, it was like sparkly, it was so much fun. Um, maybe I'll post some of my stuff from that. But anyway, it was amazing, but it made me realize like, I gotta do something about these lips. Like, it's just something that happens. Like, they call them smoker's lips because when girls smoke, like your lips make that shape and they're pursed and like deepens those lines. And I've never smoked, but I do whistle all the time. Like I whistle, I'll probably be whistling on video sometimes cause I whistle when I don't even realize it, but I whistle. So I think I have that similar problem because my lips are always like this. And I also drink out of straws and like that will also contribute to those lines. So anyway, they explained to me that they have this treatment. It's called their lip perk treatment or something like that it's not expensive you can just do it like once or twice a month and it lasts a while so I'm kind of thinking of trying it I don't know if anybody's tried it and wants to like tell me how it worked for you um, I also saw another product on that was advertised on YouTube actually that I really want to try but anyway I feel like I've got to do something about these um, I'm also really into like facial yoga facial massage that kind of stuff and I've noticed it's really cleaned up my jawline so there's got to be something I can do for my lips but again, I'm not into like going under the knife. Sorry, I usually buckle before, but before I start driving. Um, I'm not into like any kind of like injections, fillers, needles, surgery. Like to me, that stuff's for medical. If it works for you, I'm not judging you, but I personally, that's not me at all. Um, I like everything to be natural and my own and all of that. So sorry, it's probably too loud right here to hear what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. It's gonna be a short vlog, but this is my first one. So I'm excited. Um, I'll figure out a posting schedule and I will um, start doing these regularly and I'll be back soon. Have a great day, bye.